Great. So, so we come to the end of our 17th annual USAIC Biopharma and Healthcare Summit. And I would just like to thank all of you who have dialed in to participate in this virtual conference. I know that there are thousands of you across the globe. I'd like to thank all of the um, all of the participants, the moderators, the panelists, the fireside chat. Of course, you, Karun, for your um, incredible energy in bringing together an absolutely ridiculous group of, of senior leaders and, and thoughtful leaders in our, in, in our field. It was just an incredible day. I was, I was glued to the screen all day. Um, we, saw, we saw three fireside chats with Albert Borla, with uh, Joaquin Duato, and of course with our amazing FDA Commissioner Robert Califf. We had seven panels that I won't go through that touched on topics that are pertinent to everything that we do in our industry. And it was just, it's just amazing. And when I think about um, the, the era that we're in, we're in the golden era of healthcare. And um, it was brought up at one of the panels and I agree that the 21st century has the potential to be to healthcare what previous centuries have been to the physical sciences and to physics. But there's a difference actually, because in the previous centuries, the, the, the golden era of physics, these were theoretical and experimental physical re, um, observations, ultimately, that were based and fundamentally in, in basic science. And the difference with healthcare and life science is that we, we take these basic observations and for them to become meaningful at the level that those same discoveries were in physics, they require translation. They require us. They require this ecosystem to work together in a very unique way, academics, venture and investment, biopharma, and the globe coming together in, in ways that are quite unique. And, and the dif that difference is enabled by our reputation. It's enabled by the investment thesis. It's enabled by our business model. All these pieces have to come together and it can come crashing down. It's not a guarantee. We're not just about science and technology. We're about much more than that. And as an industry, we have to step up. We have to step up, not just as scientists, not just as clinicians, not just as integrated teams bringing in technology and data science, but as humans. We have to recognize that what we do has a consequence on people. We have to uphold our reputation as an industry, and that includes ensuring that we're providing access to our medicines to underserved populations within wealthy countries like the United States. We have to ensure that we're making our medicines accessible to patients across the globe, including in the most populous countries in the world, like India. We have a lot of work to do. And I think if we can do that, if we can come together, if we can ensure that the facts are out there. And as David Reese just said in the last panel, that we're, that we're out there constantly, constantly talking about the truth, protecting our reputations, then we will have an opportunity to achieve greatness in this century because the science is there. The science is there, the investment is there, and the business model is there. So with that said, Karun, it's been a terrific day. I wanted to thank you once again. You're just an amazing individual and, and thanks everybody for participating. Thank you, Andy. Uh, must thank you and everybody in the group. Uh, yes, I'm the you know person you want to thank me, but you know you can't do things alone. It's always together. Alone, I can do only so much. Together, we can do a lot. So with this, thanks to everybody, those who are having a patience to watch us through, throughout the day. I hope it was worth it. And we'll see you soon next year, hopefully in person. We'll do that. Thank you so much.